Hey y'all, welcome to Art of the Budget. My name is Nicole. My pronouns are she and her, and I live in the Pacific Northwest on the traditional unceded territory of the Coast Salish Nations. And we are doing my budget reconciliation for May 2021. Um, let's go ahead and scroll to the top. I'm going to do a quick um, like go through of highlights. Um, so I had planned for 3,500 and I brought in 3,654.01. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do base my budget on what I earned last month. So I know, but I still use a round number. So I have a bit of a cushion that just works for my brain. Okay, I didn't plan on any reimbursements, but I got a few reimbursements I had been waiting waiting on for work. And when I first put this transaction in, it was like a little over $100, but I realized that that um, Michael's charge that I had been holding on to and not putting into my actual budget was part of it. So I recorded it originally and added it to my income, but then I realized I needed to just take it away. So I took the transaction away and I took the reimbursement away so it doesn't didn't really enter my budget hopefully that makes sense and so i ended up with 7509 now that is mostly mileage reimbursements um, from the last like two quarters for going to pick up materials uh, i think that's what all of it was um but anyway uh, I also had miscellaneous income, unexpected, um, I, I guess not completely unexpected, but because I had filled out this form at jury duty, but I didn't have any idea of like what that looks like. So 3417 came from two full days of jury duty. Thankfully, my employer is really amazing and um, pays their employees, pays us to do jury duty. I guess it makes sense. It is a state, a state, uh, institution of state. It's a, I work for the state. Anyway, um, moving right along, uh, sharing my income. So this month, um, when I went to reconcile, I was a little bit under. So I went ahead and I just did a, I was like, okay, let's think about like local organizations that I love and go ahead and do a quick, um, a quick share. And so I uh, didn't record this in any budget check-ins. I just did this now, 39.38 to the Canoe Journey Herbalist, which is super cool uh, group in my area. Uh, and 2% to art, I was a little over. I planned for 60 and I ended up spending 82, but always happy to do it. But I love, you guys know I love the art. Um, savings, I just saved that little bit of interest into this account, which is 396.46 of just interest. Um, my investment, I just do my 500 to my Roth. In housing, everything was spot on. In grocery uh, or in daily living, so groceries, I normally plan 300 a month. I actually only spent 230.69, but I have recently made this a fund, and I'm going to let this roll over. I'll talk about a little bit in uh, why um, and a little bit of an adjustment I'm making to my grocery category uh, in my plan, which will be out on Thursday. Uh, restaurants, I was just a little under 93.50 out of 100, so yay for me. In household, I was over, so note to self, um, we are being required by our landlord to pay for our own um, lawn maintenance, and so we have hired a, a youth in the area to do this for us, which is awesome. Um, we have definitely talked about like like how to price ourselves and we recently gave him a raise we do have a pretty big yard so we being me and my neighbor that lives downstairs um we share the yard so note to self to make that a little bit bigger and i know i have a few household costs coming so in my budget plan for june i'm going to be making that a little bigger and then in kittles i was a little under uh i, I actually spent let me check my notes uh, I actually didn't write it down, but anyway, I've been also rolling this over, so uh, I have a little left in there. Uh, basically, I'm just not changing it to what I actually spent. I'm going to let that roll over. Gas, I was over, and I know I already have it planned in June to spend a little more on gas because not only am I going to work pretty regularly um, instead of working from home, but I'm also 
planning some trips around the state. I have noticed I didn't calculate it, but I always write down like when I get gas, how much I spent, how many gallons I got, and how many miles I had driven before getting gas again. And I do definitely notice I get way better gas mileage on the highway, which like, of course I do. Um, but anyway, that just makes me think like maybe I won't be busting the budget on gas this summer, trying to explore a little. I had planned to explore... <laughs> I was like 2021, sorry, 2020 summer. I'm exploring the Pacific Northwest. I've been here five years. It's time to really like do it. And then the pandemic hit. So I am hoping to do um, a good amount of exploring this summer and also just get a lot more hikes in. Um, last year, I just didn't get to do very many. Uh, car registration, $10 as always. Although, yeah, $10 as always. Um, in fun, I planned for 100 and I went way over 164.16. I regret nothing, but I'm not going to lie. I definitely have found myself like, well, I don't know. I mean, I've always loved to, to do a little bit of like blowing off steam at the thrift store, but I definitely feel like that, that call, that siren call of, uh, that siren call of, um, retail therapy. And I don't know what that means, but hopefully by adding lots of hikes and nature to my um, schedule, I'll, I'll be chilling out a little bit. And also, you know, I think I always run into this. I don't have a large income. And so um, one of the ways that I am able to achieve my goals is by cutting. Um, I think I do sometimes think like, oh, I have a hundred dollars for fun. And like, I do go over, that seems so luxurious, but honestly, it's really not that much. And so sometimes I do kind of like with the important stuff category, I need to think about like, what am I actually not, um, what do I actually need that I'm not allowing myself? Or like, what is something that is like small, but would make my life a lot easier. So I do a little bit of reflecting on that. Uh, as always. Um, so yeah, you know, it's just keeping that balance. I don't want to like just spend money frivolously. Um, although a, a little bit of frivolous spending, obviously we all deserve that. It's fine. We <laughs> work for our money. Um, but you know, I do want to spend my money on things that bring me value. Um, but sometimes I also need to think about if I am sort of putting something off for longer than necessary. Like for example, my bed. When I bought my bed, I had been sleeping on a past partner's bed for over over five years. So anyway, things like that. Okay. Uh, sinking funds. So with all of that said and done with the um, little bit of the reconciliations that I did do um, and including the little bit more that I brought in than expected, I've got 142.17 left to budget. However, as you may know, if you watch my budget check-ins, um, I bought a phone. And so I need to um, change this. So I had a little bit of money in the tech fund, but not enough for a phone. So if I look, I spent this month 280.61, and I spent that on. I'm just refreshing myself. Oh yeah, my phone, my phone case, and phone screen cover. Um, but if I click this, remaining is negative 155.61. So that's what I actually need to change this to. I had planned 25, but I need to change this to 155.61. That should make that. Oh, okay, sorry, plus 25, so 1, 180, 61, yes, okay, yes, zero. So I'm now over budget 1344, but like, hey, that's not bad. I mean, I really did need a new phone. The situation had become dire. Um, I did look over my budget. I actually went ahead and printed out my yearly budget with the actual number so I could compare like where I was ahead and where I was behind. And something I realized is that, um, and this was probably due to necessity, I hadn't really allocated many funds to the tech fund. I had, you know, maybe $250 there for the entire year, which obviously the tech fund is in case I need to buy a phone or a computer at a moment's notice. So I will not really be changing that. Um, I will like, uh, I will just continue to try to put extra money in. Thankfully, I've had a little bit of income um, come in unexpectedly. And so, and actually in June, I will also have a little bit of unexpected 
income. And so I've actually been able to get a little further in my goals than I had originally planned. But anyway, let's go ahead and deal with this uh, overage and then we will be done. So let's see, I had planned basically because I do have access and I've got money going into my sinking funds. Um, the cool thing is that I'm able to just adjust that. So um, let's go ahead and adjust. Let's go ahead and adjust down payment. So I'm going to make that zero. That gives me 4656 to work with. And if I change that, it's now an every dollar budget. If I'm simply pulling from my projected savings versus pulling from money that was already saved, um, it's obviously not ideal. It's always nice to have a little extra to allocate, but it's great to not have to pull from savings. Love that feeling. Um, that's it for me. I hope you're having a great May. Let me know something cool that happened in May. Um, if you would like down below, um, I, you know, I think I've shared with you guys, I went camping and that was really exciting. Um, yeah, I am really excited to just explore this summer and, uh, with that, I will see you in the next video.